So as you know, every Tuesday, I do a episode recap of a TV show. I'm currently doing Squid Game. Recently, yesterday, I did episode eight. So there's only one more episode to go of season one. But uh, it was announced not that long ago that Netflix had picked up uh, a second season of Squid Game which the writer, the creator of Squid Game took 10 years to get his, his project sold. You know, 10 years of rewriting and fixing and, and molding this, this piece of work. Finally got picked up by Netflix. One of the biggest shows in the history of streaming services. Also Korean language show. Which I guess they, they have it dubbed in all the other languages, but I... I I'm not a big fan of dubbed. I I love actually love the sound of the Korean language, uh, and it's it's fun. I'd love to learn like if I was going to learn a language, I'd love to learn Korean. Uh, and one of my best friends growing up was Korean, so it's it's a language that I remember learning a couple words here and there when we lived together. But anyway, Squid Game creator Huang Dong Hyuk is already in talks for a season three. So apparently, I'm sure he he. After the release of season two, which he directed every episode, which is amazing, wrote and directed everything. It's just, uh, you know, an auteur of, film, of TV. Took time off. He was exhausted, wasn't even sure if he wanted to do it. But, you know, you back that that money truck up uh, and he probably f- came up with like a cool three season arc. Which another show that I've done episode recaps of Ted Lasso. Uh, was planned to have a uh, three-season arc for their their show, uh, which I wonder... I, it would be nice if more shows, which is kind of a, a UK kind of a way of producing shows, where they, they do a lot less of uh, production. of sh- The shows don't run for nine years in a lot of other places like they do in the US, where the US just likes to wring every last penny out of every piece of art. You know, you got... You got 20 A Nightmare on Elm Street movies. You got, you got Halloween movies that are still being made. You got Friends going for like 20,000 seasons. You got all of these things where it's just like, let's just do more and do more. And like everything ends up getting bad. Sometimes it picks back up. You know, you'll get a Wes Craven's new Nightmare or whatever, and it kind of reinvigorates the series. But in the end, uh, I hope that the trend becomes something similar to what ted lasso like if ted lasso ended after season three i would be cool with that i also wouldn't be surprised like that's kind of a show where i could see them just keep going because it's a big money maker for i'm sure one of the biggest draws for apple tv plus uh but yeah for squid game i would love it if it's just a three season arc that would be perfect that would be perfect and i think they can they can do a lot with that because it's it's a show where there's a lot of unanswered questions for those that have seen the show, like there's, we don't know what happened to the cop. Did he survive? Did did his evidence ever get sent? What is is Gihun gonna do? All of these questions unanswered. Clearly setting up for more. Uh, so I, I'm I'm stoked to uh, some good news, right? Some good news. Uh, a, a talented creator uh, is getting. Uh, rewarded after a decade of like rejection a decade of like grinding a decade of sacrifice he he hit it out of the park and uh it looks like hopefully they're taking care of the dude and uh maybe they'll get some writers maybe they'll get some people to help him out i'm kind of scared of that idea getting writers on board and getting other people and it's not his voice but maybe it'll be better in the long run Either way, I'm excited, interested to see where it goes. 